no area in shooting and hunting has advanced more than optics. Now, Eric, SIG jumped into optics huge. I mean, just a few years ago, there was no SIG optics, and now look at all the stuff you guys have. That's very true. When we talked last year, we were just getting started, and in over a year, we've really got, as you can see, a really full, robust optics line. You have scopes, you have binoculars, you have other stuff. Thermal? We are now into thermal in a deep way, yes, sir. Holy cow. This is a nice compact unit compared to a lot of big thermal units. It is. So the Echo One is a it's a direct view optic, which is nice because so many thermal sites and traditional night vision sites require that you have the eyepiece right up on your eyes so you right. tend to lose peripheral vision. Right. This is designed to set off very similar to a red dot or a uh, look, you know, look at that. I mean, yeah, you, you can set off, you can see it. Now, it's not night vision, it's thermal, is that right? It is thermal. So the difference or the downside of traditional night vision is that it requires an ambient light. Right. Um, and it, it doesn't pick up body heat. So for, for animals or for, you know, for daytime use and nighttime use, thermal is really a nice bridge for that because there's always animal heat. There you go. And then, of course, you've got your super compact range finder, but this one has really some interesting features. Well, it does. So the Kilo 2000's been out for now for about uh, five or six months, and it is arguably one of the fastest range finders in the market. And when I talk fast, it's really based on the refresh rate. Right. Many re range finders have a refresh rate of, you know, uh, one to two seconds. Um, so as you scan, when you jump off target, there's a lag, and that, right. that really is upsetting to a lot of people. This, this updates four times a second, so you drop off an item and pick up another item, and you the, range the is range is instantaneous. You get move it along. Yes, sir. Okay. We've also designed that to be very simple and very easy interface, so. Okay, but this is what gets my attention, because I want to pick up the guns anyway, right? But of course, that, okay. that is the bread so and butter. So we're going with a cool red dot, red dot, but you were telling me earlier, one of the things that's interesting about this is the width that you decided to go with. It helps you with the speed of acquisition. Absolutely. So on this gun, this is a, uh, a Romeo One red dot sight that's on a Mark 25, and we'll be offering this in a number of platforms. Um, and it has a 30 millimeter window, so it's a little bit wider. Again, mm -hmm. many of the red dots that are out there, when you mount with a rifle, you're totally in line. So it's very easy to pick up the dot. Sure. Where with a handgun, it can be a little more difficult. So right. the wider field of view is really designed to give you quick dot acquisition well, so you, you can engage quickly. You see, see people that come up like this and they're having to wiggle it around to find the dot. Right, they that's, absolutely that's what are. you're able to eliminate with this. So that eliminates that and you know we are a, we are truly a systems provider. It's, it's um, much easier to design an optic that's going to work on a firearm if you have all the engineering background in the firearm itself. That's so interesting. That, that's one of the big advantages we bring to Call the table. Called Romeo One? Romeo One. Okay. More new technology from the optics guys at SIG. Very cool. I love red dot sights. Absolutely, me too. So this is the Romeo 4 Bravo. Yes. And one of the cool things we were talking about is you can change the reticle on this. Absolutely. On our Romeo line, we actually have four models. One is the Alpha, the Bravo, the Charlie, and the Mike, the military. Okay. The A has only got a two minute dot in it, but the Bravo, Charlie, and Mike, you can change the reticle from a two minute dot right. over to a two minute dot with a 65, mil or 65 minute ring. Wow. So, so a 65 minute ring is going to be nice for shooting up close, shooting fast. Absolutely. You know, it's kind of big picture. You can pick it up fast. A lot, of, a lot of people like it for tracking from target to target. So show me how you do this. So you can change reticle. All right. Reticle. So go ahead and look through there and okay. uh, you're going to have the two minute dot. Now what we're going to do is simply push both of the power buttons, the up and down at the same time for about a second and it's going to snap right over into the okay. other reticle. And then you see the ring. Exactly. How cool Give it a try, man. All right. Got to try this out. Love it. Just like that. 